Welcome back, my duelist friends. Casual duelist here, and it's finally Saturday, which means happy weekend. Uh, it also means we've finally slowed back down just a tiny bit, and it's time for a tech analysis. So I was trying to pick a good card for this week, and I think we got it. I think we want to talk about Keeper of Dragon Magic. So before we get into this, let's talk about how inexpensive this guy really is because I've already got that pulled up, unlike usual. So, real quick, even my version right there is only, you know, under a dollar to a dollar half. Uh, they did release it in the Toon Chaos set as a rarity, uh, just regular rare. Uh, Ten cents to less than uh, 50 cents, so half dollar. And the newest one is running less than a quarter. So, again, just super budget all the way around. Again, you guys probably did like me. You probably bought the Albaz deck. You probably have it. Um, I also happen to have the Ultra Rares uh, from the CT15 uh, 2018 tins. Uh, so what does it do? Well, if this card is normal or special summoned, you can choose to discard a card to add one Polymerization normal spell or Fusion normal spell card from your deck to your hand. Uh, you can reveal one Fusion monster in the extra deck, special summon, one of the fusion materials whose name is specifically listed on the monster uh, from the graveyard in face down defense position. You can only use each effect of this card once per turn and you cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck except fusion the turn that you activate either of these effects. Okay. Now I like the way that the last bit goes. You got to use them for fusion for the turn that you're dealing with a character that's going to be going around grabbing you fusion spells. That makes sense. A hundred percent guys. Um, Basically, because you don't want people to just be link building on you uh, because they can while grabbing other stuff. Um, he's a decent stat. He's at the 1800. And this week we used him with Albaz. Uh, didn't get as uh, good with him in the first build. The first build, I was really just using him to grab the branded fusion. Uh, but in the second build, the one that uh, aired the last two days between the, uh, com uh, the combos and the... Uh, the actual deck profile. Uh, I did show off that you could go ahead and you can grab fusion deployment with this because it is a fusion normal spell. Uh, Red Eyes fusion if you were going to play Dragoon. Uh, and this was all very good because again, and I still got the deck here, uh, what we were able to do is we were able to make sure that we could play uh, Dragoon wherever he is. Uh, we were able to add Dragoon to this deck and add some consistency. We were able to play a bunch of the uh, the dragons. Uh, we were also able to use the fusion deployment to just immediately find, and where did he get off to? Fallen of Albaz, and then go ahead and special summon him from the deck, uh, which is also very cool. Um, something else that I didn't mention that we could have done is we could have honestly played Dark Magician and uh, Red Eyes Black Dragon that way. Um, wasn't thinking about it, guys, um, because according to that, I could, um, but just didn't, didn't think about that. Uh, it also, like the, uh, the Dragon Magic character, uh, does make it so that we are locked into fusion for the turn, because again, just being able to special summon a character out is just insane, uh, and especially for this deck. And again, you could have played Dark Magician or Red Eyes, um, but the goal was to get Albaz out, and that was best. Um, there are a couple of other cards that you guys could use, cards that I've shown on this uh, channel before, like the Metal Foes Fusion, you could do that. If you're playing Cyber Style, this guy could help you with Overload Fusion. If you guys are playing Shadals, if you guys are playing a Shadal and uh, Albaz build, which is probably going to be very popular again, because if you're focusing on, on lights, you're probably going to be playing Construct. And if you're playing Construct, you're going to win. Um, so again, you could do that. And then if you guys are just goofing off and playing something with spellcasters, maybe even magicalized fusion. And again, this is only just like the the uh, the drop in the bucket. There are a ton of fusion cards out there that you can play. Um, you will not be able to go after things like fusion gate, obviously, because it's an equip or uh, sorry, a field spell. Um, but that's a thing. Uh, and then the one other thing I wanted to mention with the keeper of dragon magic. Um, because of his ability to special summon. Uh, I guess I probably could have done that there too. Let me reread that one more time. Do, 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 do. Now he special summons it from the grave. 
That's why he was fair. Good. Um, one other thing he was able to do was actually summoning Albion the Shrouded Dragon. Because while Albion was in the discard pile, Albion is treated as Albaz. Uh, and again, this name change would allow him to actually be called back. Not just putting things like Dark Magician and Red Eyes in defense. So, very cool card. By itself, the Keeper, very inexpensive. Three of them should cost you less than a dollar. Just get the commons, get the rares. Uh, you don't need to go get the ultras. Even if you do get the ultras, though, should not run you that much. Um, and again, as you can see, there's just a ton of cards that you guys can use it with uh, to give it further value in your collection. Uh, I do hope that you guys all enjoyed this one today. Uh, it's pretty budget, it's pretty cool, and it's very topical right now. And uh, do the things, guys. If, uh, if you want to support the channel, subscribe if you've already done. Maybe hit the notification bells. And regardless of any of that, I want you guys to go out there and try to have a great day and do something for yourself, all right? Hope to see you next time. Later.